Hey guys, welcome back to another show. I'm your host, Roxy, and I'm showcasing Textured Fringe Bob by Hairdo today in the top three colors. So let's just jump into it. I wanna start off by saying, again, this is the first time that I'm wearing this wig and have seen it in person. So I'm just gonna go ahead and review it as it's on my head. I just put it on and I have some mixed feelings about it. And I'm gonna tell you why. I love the back because it's got a lot of textured layers in the back and I love how it has that texture in the back where it flips up but then on each side I feel like this this side is a little more thick and longer whereas this side I actually like this side better because it has these shorter layers almost right by my ear which I really like but when you get to this side it's really thick on this side and just kind of looks like a bob so I'm trying to figure out how to style this it does have some really cute fringe, but as I was reading your guys' reviews, a lot of you have been stating that it doesn't look like the picture, which I could definitely see because now that I have this on, it's not exactly like the picture at all. And I'm trying to style it like the picture, but it's almost kind of difficult. So I'm just gonna style this on camera. I don't really know what I'm doing right now because it's it doesn't have a lace front or a mono part or a mono top. It's just a basic cap construction. So I'm gonna see what it looks like if I put all these fringe, all the fringe kind of over to one side. And maybe even some texture spray would look really good flipping out these ends. But again, it's not really working with me too well, but it's a really pretty color. This is the SS 1488. It's the shaded golden wheat. And you can see right here, it's got medium blonde streaked with pale gold highlights and it's got that dark to medium brown root. So I really love the color. This is a, a top color in hairdo. I'm just not sure about the style because I don't know how to style it. It's not, even though it's a basic cap construction, I would normally say this is a style for the active woman. You put it on, it's perfect, and you walk out the door. But in my experience, just based on putting it on right now, I don't really know how to style it. I don't know what it's supposed to look like. I know it can be cute because I've seen it styled on other women. I just don't know exactly how that was done or if it was taken to the salon to get trimmed or styled differently, which you can do. You can always customize your wigs and I always recommend doing that. If you love the style, and maybe this side just needs a little bit more thinning. Um, it also has heat friendly, true to life heat friendly synthetic fiber. So if you feel like this side has a little more flipped up ends, maybe you could take your um, iron and kind of flip these up a little bit more around the ear. But let's see what it looks like behind the ears. Let's just see. Okay, now actually, I really like this style like this, which is completely different than what you see on the picture. You can definitely do that. And I would just put it behind your ears and kind of have these flipped out in the back. Now to me, that looks a lot cuter, you guys. I actually really like it like this. This is how I would wear it. And that didn't take only but a second to do. So just tuck it behind your ears. You can't really see the wefting at all inside. But what do you guys think? Cause that looks, to me, it looks a little better than a half bob and then half like layered choppy layers. <laughs> I don't know what was happening. And I even tried on the other colors to see if they come different and they all pretty much were consistent. So I really like it like this. Take a look at the back. I love the choppy layers and the razor cut ends in the back of the nape. That's really cute, I love that. But let's take a look at the inside of the cap before I move on to these colors. So this one right here is the R3025S+. Now I love this color in hairdo. I've actually gotten a lot of wigs in this color, but I've gotten a Raquel Welch wig in this color. And it's pretty consistent in hairdo. Take a look. Let me get out of the frame there. And this one is Glaze Cinnamon. It's a medium reddish brown with ginger blonde highlights. No dark root but there is a permatease. If you're not familiar with permatease, it's right there. 
And basically what it does is it conceals all of the fabric that's inside and it also allows for more body and more volume right here. But this is the R3025S Plus, really gorgeous color. And you could see, since you can't really see it on me, but you can see the back, how it has all those choppy layers. I love how the highlights are just really subtle throughout the back. It's a little darker at the nape. But let's take a look at the cap. So because it's a basic cap construction, they're always gonna have open weftings on the sides and back. That stretch cap material, it kind of forms to your head. And then this is where the permatease is. It's right here. And basically they're covering all of these weftings. So you can see that right here is where all the permatease is going to be. A little bit more fabric. It is stretchy, really comfortable, so that's a plus. But again, you guys, feel free to customize these. You don't have to get it and you know wear it exactly like the picture. I like to get my wigs and if I can work with the style, I normally will just like this. I didn't think I would wear it behind the ears, but I actually think it looks, I prefer it that way. So that's just my preference, but this is the R3025S Plus. This next color is really pretty as well. I love hairdo colors. They're just really natural. They, I like how they blend all their highlights. But take a look at this one. This is the R829S Plus Glazed Hazelnut. Medium brown with ginger highlights on top. So again, no root, but you can see all those beautiful highlights right here. Sometimes the permatease can be a little more noticeable when you have highlights all the way to the root. I prefer a dark root, that's just me but some of you will look really good in just a full highlighted, full coverage color. This is R829S Plus. Really simple. It's really easy to wear, but again, just remember that that permatease and the style will look a little different when you get it. And it's gonna look different on everybody, especially the type of face shape that you have will really make a difference in this style. So let me know what you guys think about this one. I can't wait to hear from you. Again, your pros, your cons, what you love, what you don't love about it. We love to hear from you and I can't wait to see you next time. Okay, bye.